Hey guys and girls, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode of Material Energy Cubed with myself, Lewis. Hope you're brilliant. Have yourself a great day. As always, we are inside the weird chamber of awesomeness with many dangerous spidery guys inside that little room over there doing their thing. Now, in the last episode, we managed to save Seabiscuit. Yes, what a guy Seabiscuit is. <laughs> Random horse in the middle of a weird chamber full of rubbish and dirt. Lovely. That's the that's probably the place I would put a paddock, you know? I would do that. <laughs> but the other thing that we had around here is this little area, which if we went down one of the kind of openings where we laid loads of ladders, took us down here into this area with many oars. And I've just basically spent a quick 10 minutes down here just digging up some bits and having a look around. Uh, it's kind of noisy down here because all the spiders, but there is a lot of stuff around here. There's redstone, we've got potash, iron, emeralds, redstone, diamonds over that way. Mm. Some lapis, many things that look very interesting. And so many things here that actually, now I think about it, this could give us all the stuff we need to use to make a chemical synthesizer. Let me just have a look and see, because there's one thing that I really want to make. A chemical synthesizer remained iron, guild, diamonds, a block of iron, and a load of pistons. Uh, you know what? We can actually do that. As long as I have the materials to be able to mine those diamonds. <laughs> That's the thing. I did just break my pickaxe. So let's have a looky see upstairs. Another thing that I want to do as well today is I would like to finish off the sea biscuit quest, but I need to get myself an apple. Now, I wonder if there's a... Actually, no, there won't be all day. I was about to say, I wonder if there's an easy way to make an apple using a chemical synthesizer. And thus, I forget that I don't actually have a chemical synthesizer on me just yet, but we will. Eventually. <laughs> Probably. Maybe. But there are many quests that we still have left to do. And we have still got these spawn horses. Uh, I don't actually know what I can do with these spawn horses except for spawning horses. But I guess that's better than nothing. Another cool thing that we can do is I think we can take this stuff upstairs now and get it to start smelting. Because there are some redstone furnaces up there. And we have got our little generator doing its thing somewhere around here, I think. Although it is night time. Maybe we should have a little sleepies first. Another couple of quests that we can hand in are to do with the golems that we awoke in uh, a couple of episodes ago. Which are like the turrets and the bound soul and things. I think we have to kill those and we get some quests handed in. So that's one thing we're going to do. So let's take you. And I'm going to pop you over here because I think by now this should be full. Yes. Good stuff. All right, we'll do that. And uh, actually, no, we want my pulverizer, don't I? I want my pulverizer. We got a pulverizer around here. Platinum pulverizer. Ha <laughs> ha. Cool beans. And I kind of want to go down there. Can we go down there? <laughs> Is that a thing? Or are those bits of stuff in the way to stop me from going down there? Ah, uh, I would. I really want to venture down there. Uh, and I think it's been blocked off, but we could just break those blocks. It does say in the manual that we can break anything we like to make cool things happen. All right, so let's put down our pulverizer. And let's set this to output. And it's the same for you. So we should have power going in here. Yes. And I'm going to start pulverizing a load of this iron into good stuff once it's got enough. I think it needs to get like enough in there first before it does anything. Unless these are turned on. Uh, let's just ignore you. There we go. Good stuff. Good times. I really love how it shows up on there on like the 3D thing. That is so cool, isn't it? I can have stuff going in there. Uh, I might actually grab a couple of item ducks quickly so we can so I don't have to keep doing that. Let's get these guys. There we go. And with all those cables under there for the for the energy, the redstone energy conduits, it kind of looks like there should be some sort of power supply down there. So it could be worth having a looky see down there. All right, so we've got the stuff coming out here. Let's have it come out of here and go like around this way. There we are. We'll do your. Arm. Let's set this to output all the things, and we'll have that as an input. There we go. Oh, look, I got some pulverized ferrous metal. <laughs> How cool is that? All right, we want to uh, make sure that we have this here as well. So let's do this and grab some wood. Have I actually got any wood laying around? I guess we could just use this one because I'm using it from there for the time being, aren't I? So that'll do just fine. 
There we go. Lovely jubbly. Cool beans. All right, so that's coming out of there, going in there. We're going to get those guys doing their pulverizing. Let's do the same with the gold. And uh, we're probably going to want a chest, so let's move a chest over this way. We'll just use one of these. I don't even know if I can pick these. Can I pick these up? Is that a thing I can do? What? I don't know. Let's go get a pickaxe from downstairs. We've got a load of spare pickaxes. Although we have to be kind of careful because um, we haven't got many of them. And I don't know if this is set up in the way that metallurgy actually takes effect. So you need certain tools to mine certain things. Uh, that is a thing, but I don't think it's a thing in this. No. No. All right. Let's do this. Let's grab a shadow steel because that sounds pretty good, doesn't it? And we've got some chests. Good stuff. And some wood. I'm going to take that. Yeah. I should do the trick. All right. And I'll eat some sucrose. I can't wait until I get onto a better source of food. It's going to be so nice. Cool beans. Right, so let's do this. Let's do some quests after this, actually, I think, as well. Because we have got a few that we can hand in and a few that we can do. I need to go find my little guys that are running around doing their thing wherever they've disapparated to. But, yes. And you can go. In there. Thank you very much. Cool beans. Alright, so now we've got that, I can make myself a... Let's just put those in there. I'll put all that stuff in there for the time being. Uh, yeah, now I can make myself a... One of these. I can get an axe, so I can actually start... <laughs> so I can actually start breaking down that tree a little bit better. So we can try get ourselves one of those. So let's do that. Good stuff. Oh, look at that. Iron axe. <laughs> wow, that looks really cool, doesn't it, that iron axe? That is pretty funky. Right, let's go chop these trees down. I'm going to give it a minute or two once I've done that to see if I actually get any apples coming from it. We'll probably get some saplings, but it would be kind of nice to get an apple. I think I only need, like, one apple to be able to do that. Let's have a look. Left alone. Oh, look, we just completed that one as well because of the metals. That's pretty cool. Um... Did that. Uh, there was one around here that we actually did as well, which I completely forgot about. Lost. I think I did this one. Yeah, biosphere. So now we can get a biosphere. That's pretty cool as well. Hmm. There's so many things that we can be doing at the minute, but just finding the time to do them. All right, cool. So we've got all this stuff. Let's go and be on this tree. Good stuff and we'll hand this quest in yeah let's hand in this one so this gets us the biosphere which is you know pretty cool i haven't seen the biosphere so that sounds kind of awesome we get five coins which are from metallurgy so i'm guessing we can use the coins to buy cool things and i'm all up for hoarding the coins and we get a reward bag boom nice all right so reward bag we got ourselves <laughs> a crate of 40 cookies yes please uh, how do we, do we just click it and it gives me a cookie? 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 Oh, there we go. Oh, my Lord. We get nine cookies every time. Oh, do you know what? I'm living on cookies from now onwards. <laughs> Those cookies are mine. Nice. They actually fill us up more than the sucrose does as well. That's pretty funky. So what does that lead on to? So we've done those to get the iron and stuff. Ah, uh, these gives us the extra bits. Okay, so these have fertilizer, death. You've died zero of two times. You lie. I've actually died once. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm surprised it didn't actually read that. I thought it would have read that. We get a diamond nook and some coins. Uh, the fertilizer gives us melon seeds and a reward bag. Well, that's nice because melons are pretty cool. Let's just see if we got an apple. Yes. Nice. One apple. Let's replant these. <laughs> nice. That's so cool. I think that means we can do that one as well now. Let's have a look. Uh, where's the sea biscuit one? Uh, do we need... Oh, we need ten apples? What is that? Ten apples? It's ridiculous. Well, there's two. I guess it's one of those things. We just have to keep going around here, grabbing these guys and getting the apples. 
from them. Let's just check the other ones out. So the fertilizer means that we need fertilizer. Now, I don't have a clue what it costs to make fertilizer here. Uh, we can use some magnesium, some phosphorus, and some potash, or some nitre. Now, we did actually grab some of those when I was down there earlier. I think most of the stuff is inside that chamber, waiting to be grabbed. There's also even more mining. So if we did all of these, we would get Miner's Delight. Oh, that sounds, that sounds nice. Uh, Super Miner, some diamonds, and a reward bag. Wow, that is too cool. Well, you know what I think we're going to do? I am going to go, and I am going to keep planting some more saplings to see how many apples I can get. And while they're doing that, I'm going to go... And I'm going to do some more mining, because I want to try and mine out as much of this place downstairs as I can before we do any more quests. I think that's going to be a thing. And then hopefully, if we have enough stuff at the end, we will make ourselves that awesome fit. That isn't actually there, is it? I keep going to grab it, and I'm getting tricked by this guy. Did I get it that time? There we go. All right. Yeah. So I'm going to go do that. I'm going to do some mining and see if we get enough apples. And hopefully by the end of the episode, we'll be able to check out the biosphere and maybe make ourselves the chemical synthesizer so we can start synthesizing stuff together. Because I have looked at a few recipes that do look fairly interesting and easy to make, which is cool. And hopefully that will give us some better sources of food as well. Although we have just got uh, 40 crates of cookies, which I think are going to last us for some time. And we can probably get some good things from these, actually. Let's have a look. Um... I wonder if this will tell us what we get if we put it inside that machine. Or maybe we don't get anything. Who knows? All right, I'm going to do some mining, and we will be right back. So it's literally been, like, a couple of minutes since I stopped recording. I came down here. Uh, the ladder is literally there, and I saw some things here, and I was like, you know, I'll mine these. Just, you know, just wobble along, do my things. And I came across some Rubicrayon. And I was like, well, I can't break this because I know for a fact you need better stuff to break this. And then I kind of realized that there was Orcalcum, and I thought to myself, you know, this is some pretty good stuff for an area that looked like it had fairly rubbish things. And then I saw the chest. The chest. I think I've just mined myself into some awesome secret, which is so cool. I, I was planning on mining this whole area out anyway, because I have a feeling it's just like the dirt area, where it's just a big square, basically. But uh, this is kind of cool. Oh my god, look how much stuff is in there. I love how it just says secret on the front. <laughs> Look at all this ore. It's just a room of ore. Man, this is awesome. Get it? Awesome. <laughs> Ferris, silver, some brass, lead, angmalon, invar, tin, some midassium, and some electrum. Ooh, venus. I'm going to take this with me, though, because I'm all up for taking every chest I can get my little hands on. There we go. Yeah, I don't think I can break most of these. Like the Orcalcum, I can't break. The Rubricrayum, Rubricium, I can't break. And those are the only weird ones. Like the rest, like the Lapis, Iron, Potash, all of those guys, we can do. Yeah, good stuff. All right, I'm going to keep mining, and we'll be back. Oh, I just found another chest. Yes. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Oh, a Hadaroth pickaxe. That's insane. Oh my god, and it actually looks like a really good one. And a super miner. Haste potion. Nice. Although that's only for like, what, like a few seconds? Uh, I guess I'm just going to put that in that because this is like meant to be really good. Yeah. I wonder if we can mine the... Um... Actually, I'm going to quickly kill this guy, I think. Come here. There we go. I just want some gold from him. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Yeah, I think that was one of my quests to kill the bound soul. Actually, yeah, there it is, that golems. That gives me uh, some soul sand and some stuff. I'm going to wait for a minute to hand that in, though, because I am got the inventory space on me at the minute. But let's go see if we can break the... We can. We can. It's amazing. We can do everything. <laughs> uh, I think what I'm going to do is... I'm just going to leave something down here so I can take it back with me. Some sticks. Some sticks. Yeah. That'll do. Alright, let's just see if there's anything else in this secret area before I carry on. Uh, there's diamonds. I think this is the way we came around when we uh, had a look originally. Yeah, it looks that way. Alright, cool. So I've pretty much mined out everything that's visible 
in this mine, this virtual mine. <laughs> I've I've done pretty much everything that you can see hanging out of walls and inside the secret areas that we managed to get to. Oh, I missed one. <laughs> there would always be one, wouldn't there? Just waiting. Just hiding down here. There we go. All right, so I've pretty much mined out everything now. And I've started working my way around the whole place. I thought, you know, I'll mine the whole place out because cobblestone's useful. Uh, if there's any extra hidden secret, it's useful. And we know that somewhere around here, there is a room that has a spider spawner in it, which is going to be really useful for experience, uh, spidery stuff. Uh, maybe there'll be scallywags in there, which would be good for bones and things. So there's a lot that we can do with that, but I'm going to kind of leave that for the time being because I don't really want to be going in there just yet. Let's light this up. But now that we've got all this stuff, there's actually a ton of quests that we can be handing in. And did something just die then? <laughs> what, what was that? Did the spider just fall down? I think there might be a spider around here somewhere. Wow, that was weird. Maybe it's one of those little baby ones. Little baby ones. Yeah. Alright. I haven't managed to get any more apples yet because I haven't really been trying. But here we go. So I've been putting all the stuff in here. Now I think that we need to kind of start moving all of this soon. Because I'm not going to keep this chamber here. Am I? I'm not going to move it eventually. So that's going to be something that we're going to need to move everything. Because I don't want to have to keep dimension jumping or, or moving the spatial drives around. Because that's just going to use up a load of unnecessary power. I'm going to break you as well. Because I think one of the quests was to destroy you and there could possibly be one to destroy you who knows let's have a look so i handed this one in or i haven't done it just yet but if we do that we now can and this gives me access to miner's delight yes which sounds brilliant so we'll grab all of that so i got miner's delight we've got a reward bag as well we'll open that in a second just in case it's got more stuff that my inventory can actually hold but another one of the disc drives that i did get was for the biosphere which has opened up this quest over here which apparently is a really hard area. So you have unlimited lives and you are going to die a lot. And this gives us some cool different types of bricks. And it gives us some funky weapons like a Shadow Iron Axe, Sanguinite, a Viroxeries. Some pretty cool stuff right there. Even gives us the quest delivery system and a tank. Well, hey, And a transfer node for liquid. So I guess that's how we're going to be transferring in the liquids for our capture the monument type thing. Um, or complete the monument. And we've got these ones handed as well so I can do those. But... Let me just quickly turn the music down. And what we're going to do is we're going to take all these chests. And we're going to start moving stuff downstairs into the main area, I think. And then what I want to try and do is I want to try and start using the the thermal expansion chest. So I can pick them up and move them around. Or maybe make some bags. Just something that's going to be a little bit handy, you know, for moving stuff around. Uh, let's put this stuff in here. We're going to keep the stuff that we actually want to kind of hang on to. I'm not worry really too bothered about this stuff. Uh, yeah, it looks fine to me. All right. Let's go take this stuff. We're going to move this back to our storage room, which is basically going to be like our uh, our bedroom, pretty much. We're going to have all of our stuff in there. Try and keep it as neat as possible so that we don't get confused. Because I can, I can, one thing I expect from this mod pack is getting very easily confused as where stuff is. Because... You know, you don't get the materials to really make your own base. You just have to kind of do it. Which can get a little bit awkward here and there, so... Let's just have a sleepies. Get the power gun back in. And uh, let's see what we've got in here as well. Because this has been doing its stuff, hasn't it? We've got a fairly decent amount of bits in this. Let's put all of that in there. Start... Oh, there you go again. Let's do that. Good stuff. We've got all of this. Cool beans and all of these bits. Let's hand these quests in that we just got. So we'll claim you and this one, which gets me some skelly skulls. Nice. So we got <laughs> upgrade manual, golem manuals. Wow. We can actually put upgrades on the golem so we can add like gear to them and stuff to make them even stronger. That is pretty cool, right? And we've got two of the super miners, which are going to come in pretty handy later on for when I decide to stop. Destroying that world. Yes. But let's see if we can hand in some more quests. So I think before we wrap up today's episode, I would like to try and hand in as many quests as possible. Is this opened up? Was this always this open? Was there not stuff here before? Yep, that didn't happen. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm pretty sure this area was locked off with said with stuff before, but hey, it no longer is. Well, there you go. <laughs> I guess that's something else for us to explore. So let's put all this stuff in here before we do. There's so many things that I want to do right now, but we need to sort this out. I want to go to the biosphere. I want to go to the miner's delight. I want to check out this room that just opened up. So many things. Um, oh yeah, here's my liquid coal. <laughs> I remember where I had that bucket before. Maybe you're just wondering where I got that bucket from. Well, uh, I found this chest that had all this stuff in it. And this is actually one of the quests that we have to hand in. And to get myself a quick bucket of water, I used one of these liquefied coal buckets and just threw it in the ground. <laughs> just so I could get a bucket. But this should let us do this one. Oh, I need three buckets of coal. One, two. Do we have? No. But I do have some iron up here. There we go. Let's grab some iron. And we'll just make another bucket so I can pick this liquefied coal back up. <laughs> As I just left it lying around. Oh man, I really want to check this room out. Look at it. There's cool things in it. There's dynamos and bits and bobs and they look like compression things over there. This is going to be so cool. Right, there we go. We'll grab you. And manually detect. And this basically tells us that coal in its liquid form can be useful to providing power in a compression dynamo. So I guess that's that, isn't it? That gives us another reward bag. We get 64 gunpowder. That is pretty cool. And we still got this one here, which is a good one. Gives us a marshy hive. Cool beans from forestry. Man, we're getting so much cool stuff. Let's put all of this in here. So we'll leave it where it was for the time being until I have time to actually sort it all out. But let's uh, try and do this. So we'll put vanilla stuff in here. So dispensers, fences, um, golem manuals, I guess. Skeleton skulls. What is this? Oh, this was like our random chest, wasn't it? So I guess I should put those in there. Cool, cool. And then this was tech stuff. So I guess the bio things can go in there. And then the marshy hives. That stuff. Yeah. That would do. All right, we're looking a little bit better. I guess I, maybe I'll have that as the natural chest, the O natural chest. Keep that one as that. I'm probably gonna have to release Buddy soon to give me a hand. <laughs> he looks like a pretty cool fella. All right, so where are we at now? We haven't done finding Sea Biscuit yet because I still have apples to get. I'm probably just gonna do that off camera because it means I've just gotta stand there and get some apples. Uh, quartz challenge, gather 200 quartz. Where can I get all this quartz? Hint, it's somewhere in the inclusion chamber. Ah, well, we haven't found that one out yet. Probably going to find it out when we dig up that whole place, maybe. Uh, we've got death. I'm not going to do that. We've got fertilizer, so I have to make five fertilizer. So maybe we can do that one. So let's have a look at fertilizer. So we need some magnesium, phosphorus, and potash. And I know for a fact that I've got all of that. So let's go make three of that. And we'll hand that one in. So we need phosphorus, magnesium, and potash. Potash. There we are. And I'm hoping this is just one of those regular shapeless recipes. Yes, it is. Cool beans. At least we can use this on the trees now as well to get us uh, trees quicker so I can get the apples quicker. That's pretty cool. Cool beans. So let's hand that one in. Man, we are going through these quests. Gives us melon seeds and a reward bag. Nice. I'm going to have to bring some stuff up here into war. I'm going to turn this into a farm. <laughs> I'm going to turn the observatory into a farm, I think. <laughs> that would be so funny. All right, let's check this one out as well. So we've got 20 coal ore. Nice. All right, I think that's pretty much it for the quests that we can do today. I'm definitely going to make one of those uh, chemical synthesizers. Yes. What's this? Basic reward bag. Oh, so for eight coins, I get a reward bag. That's, uh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> that's pretty cool. I love the idea of that, getting reward bags for coins. I wonder if I have any coins down here. Let's just, let's just check this out. I would like to see how many I have. I think I only have four, maybe. 
or maybe we have eight. If we have eight, we can get a reward bag. I don't know how the rest of these ones open up. Um, yeah, these ones on these rope. Maybe I have to do that first, and then it opens up the rest of the pay-to-win ones. Because they seem kind of cool, don't they? We've got five coins here. And I wonder if I have any more coins inside my storage area. Oh, I need to check this out. I need to see this. <laughs> wow. I was thinking as well, we can remove all of these ME crafting CPUs. We can actually take them all off. And we've got an AE area, so I don't see what's stopping us from expanding the AE area into a storage area. Seems perfectly viable to me. Seems like a much better way than having a million chests all over the place. And in that way, it's kind of all central, isn't it? Uh, this place is fairly small, so I guess if I had myself one of those... Um, wireless transfer thing with Bob's. I could do that. It's kind of cool. Let's have a look. Oh yes. 12 coins. Oh my god. I am so all about the reward bags. Boom. I got myself a minecart with chest and a minecart with furnace. Nice. I... <laughs> wow. Was that worth it? Probably worth it. Oh no. Oh look, a good reward bag. Oh man, can we buy amazing reward bags? These cost a stack. How much is a stack? Let's have a look. Uses. So nine of these make a stack. All right, so we have to do a lot of stuff to be able to get the coins. I wonder if the coins we can be found as like secrets. I guess that's kind of a thing. Or can we make coins? Is that a recipe? Let's have a look. Coins. No. Stacks go back into coins, so they can go back to what they were. All right. But that kind of makes sense, I guess. But once we've got enough of those, we can do those. And then look at all this stuff. This all looks like really cool stuff, though, doesn't it? I guess that's to do with XP, because you can get the uh, XP orbs and things. Man, that is so funky. Side quests. Abstractors. Oh, we can use we can use that to make Prometheum. Man, there is so much that I want to do right now. <laughs> that we haven't got the time to do. Jeepers. Well, guys, that's going to be that for today's episode, I think. I'm overwhelmed by coolness. We've got loads of ores. We've got loads of stuff. I've got enough stuff to make a chemical thing. <laughs> we've got all of that. We can go to the different worlds, the different uh, chambers, now that we've got all that good stuff, because we've got the ones for the Miner's Delight and the, uh, the place where we're apparently going to die, but we get some really cool enchanted gear. I am definitely going there. I have no idea which one to go to next. Like absolutely no idea. I'm probably going to go down, I'm going to light this area up between this and the next episode because it's probably a little bit hard for you guys to see on the YouTube because we know how YouTube encoding loves to make everything 10 times darker. So I'm going to go light that up and I guess we'll see where we go from there guys. If you want me to go check out one of the certain types because we've got the two different areas now, um, just drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know which one you want us to go visit because I haven't been to either of them. So uh, yeah, maybe you guys know more than I do. <laughs> Cool beans. All right, I'll see you soon for another episode. Make sure to leave a like if you're enjoying it, guys, as it helps the channel out a ton. And if you're new, I urge you to subscribe for some more awesome content. Have yourself a great day. Have a good one, as always. And goodbye.